Welcome to part two of our five-part tech tip series, Building a Rock Solid Library Component, where we focus in on key concepts of component management in Concord Pro. Last time, we overviewed what a managed component is and how component types can be used to help ensure consistency in Concord Pro components. In future installments, we'll continue to dive deeper, covering symbol and footprint integration, data sheets and parameters, supply chain data, and releasing a component. Today, as we continue on part two, We'll take a look at the roles of component types and explorer folders as they relate to component management. Let's go ahead and take a look in Conquer Pro. First, we want to take a look in the components panel. In the components panel, there is a drop down list at the top, which, when we click on this, it shows us all of the various component types within the system, and they're all organized by categories such as audio, battery, capacitors, connectors, etc. And there's also subcategories like integrated circuits has amplifiers, clock and timing, drivers, etc. underneath of it. All these component types are set up through the preferences and are stored in Concord Pro as a way to index and search all those components. So next, if we go to the top of the Altium Designer screen and click on the little gear icon, this will bring us into the preferences. Under the preferences, we'll go to the data management page, and under data management, we'll go to component types. Now in the component types page, you'll see the very same categories that we saw, and these are your component types that we set up for Conquer Pro. You'll notice that any of the component types can be moved by dragging and dropping. Component types can also be added or removed at the bottom of the screen. There's also a templates button, which allows us to associate any particular component type with an already existing template within Conquer Pro. Back in the components panel, if we right click on a component, this will bring us to the component editor interface. Once the component editor interface is open, again, we'll see the name of the component, the description, and other information. There's also an advanced settings area that is currently collapsed, but if we click it to expand it, inside we can see the unique identifier for the component, the folder location of the component in Explorer. So for the template and type fields, the component's template or type can be set or changed here in the advanced settings area. Once again, in the components panel, right-clicking on the same component, if we go to the operation submenu, we can also see that there is a change component type command in that menu where we can change either that single component or if in the components panel you select a group of components, you could change the component type for that entire group of components. All of these features make it easy to organize the components in a way that makes them easier to index, makes them easier to search for, and easier to find while using the components from Conquer Pro in your design process. Next, we'll open the Explorer panel from the Panels button at the lower right-hand corner, and in the Explorers panel, we're going to expand the components folder. The components folder is a way for us to organize various components into various categories. It just simply makes it easier for us to read. If we right click on a folder, whether it's a top level folder or a subfolder, you can see that there is a component properties. In the component properties, we can name the folder, assign it a folder type, even associate every item in the folder with a particular template and assign it a naming scheme. This makes it easier when adding new items into Conquer Pro. The items that originate from the folder itself can then automatically have a naming scheme and template applied to them. At the very bottom, there's also ability to share the folder with particular users and the administrators can set up access to any given and administrators can set up access to any given folder or a set of subfolders. The folder in which any component belongs to is not critical to the component being indexed or searchable within Conquer Pro. As long as there is a type associated with the component, it'll always end up in the type category that we see in the drop-down list in the components panel. However, having the folders makes it easier to organize the administration and access to those particular components. Thank you for joining us today. Make sure to join us next time on part three of our five-part series. Next, we'll be covering schematic, symbol, and footprint integration. Until then, I'm Dan Goddard from Altium in La Jolla, California, signing out.